just wanted to ask you, obviously the emotional core of the movie goes with what you've done in your filmography, but how quickly did you, the ambition of what the techniques does, would you sort of eliminate any barriers that there is between the audience and what's on screen? How did that come about? How quickly did you know that that was the right way to tell the story? Uh, well, the, the book sort of asks, the material asks for itself. It's mm -hmm. all in um, a young soldier's mind. We have um, a halftime show over the top, halftime show glorify mm -hmm. his act, and then, then the real act in the battlefield. So it's sort of heightened reality, lent itself to it. But basically, I think uh, after um, doing Life of Pi, the mm -hmm. first time I get in touch with si digital cinema and stereography, st st uh, I, I just think that's the rational next steps. Mm -hmm. I think the, the media wants to go there. I think your eyes, when they can, they want more information. Uh, oh. it's, it's, it's beautiful to look at <laughs> when I see it. So there's no question about that for, for me, but how do you make the movie? What, do you, what excuse do you have to introduce that for the first time? And the book came in and it seems to be a perfect you know, uh, uh, match. Did you have to adjust the way uh, the, the you know those scenes where just the actors and the, the close up because it sort of it, it gives a level of intimacy that we're not used to. In terms yeah. of, so did that make, mean adjusting in your directing or how the actors or the, how did that reflect in your dynamic with them? But everybody has to adjust, including the audience. Mm -hmm. uh, the second time you see the movie, you're a bit different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's or the second movie, the third movie, you get more used to it. You know, when movie was introduced, we're going to you know, show a train coming at you before <laughs> duck, duck. Yeah. and then uh, you now it's different. So I think that there'll be time like that with this media. But for us, the first one to, to get, get into it is, is quite difficult. Uh, not only actors, how, to, how do we light it, how mm. do we you know, deal with makeup and you know, all that. It's, it's, it's very challenging. Acting-wise, if you just go with natural, subtle, then it'll be boring. It's not enough. Mm. You have to add the complexity and liveliness, and this, sometimes even distraction to keep them look alive, like mm. a real person. Uh, so that's that's quite a challenge. That's that's somewhat new to us. Mm. Uh, you cannot just do an act to fulfill a task, mm. but at the same time, you know the lines. You're still pretending <laughs> how. And you know, it's, it's a chemistry between what the actors are willing to give after I suggest them different uh, thoughts, and then how they capture, you know, how the filmmaking capture them. Mm. We're trying. We're, we're trying. <laughs> you succeeded in this. <laughs> um, audiences are also used to sort of, sort of uh, Vin Diesel as this sort of uh, very male, typical archetype from the work that he's done. But he's actually uh, alpha uh, male. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> But he's very sensitive as, as, an, as an artist, and I think this character sort of captures that. Was he, did he willingly go to expose You don't always get a soldier telling uh, his battalion, I love you, just before going to battle. So I just wonder if he was willing to go there, or how was working that angle with him. Oh, he's, uh, he's over in Tuesday. You cannot stop him talking philosophy. I know. <laughs> from, from the time I pick up a phone, call him for the first time, inviting him. And almost said, "That's all I want to talk is a philosophy." Mm. <laughs> yeah, he's he, he's very enthusiastic. The thing to watch is uh, naturally in, in diesel uh, mm -hmm. thing, and he doesn't have to do anything. Mm. Um, so sometimes, occasion reminding him of that, uh, and he has a, a lot to to the offer to mm. give, and is very willing to. You know, in the book, his his. Uh, He's described as a Buddha meets, meets mm. Rambo. So that's a perfect That's kind of him. Yeah, it fits in perfectly. Another actor we're interested in because he's a local boy uh, from Puerto Rico, Ismael. Uh, Ismael. How was, uh, I heard that he was in a rank, but after going through the boot camp, he kind of went up a little bit. How, was, uh, how do you see him at, uh, going forward as an actor? Like before they were sent to the camp, uh, they're, they're gathering together before they shave them. Mm -hmm. Uh, like within an hour, he's the leader. Mm. Uh, he he's just a, has very strong, mm. uh, and then he's just a natural leader. Like right away, the sergeant spotted him, and they report to me. I I didn't know. I was working on my mm -hmm. thing. They get together, how the boys are ready to go, and say, "Well, Ishmael will be the yeah." That he, he's the leader. well. They identify the leader of the pack right away. I said, "That's the guy. We're gonna you know, okay." Cool. So if you could take any other movie from your filmography and apply this technique to sort of make it again, would there be any, any, uh, any film? No. Mm. 
except a few shots in the Hulk, I realized ah. the big Hulk's head yeah. and the clothes of a person look the same. Mm. Uh, I wish I had <laughs> that dimension. Uh, but other than that, you see, a a any material uh, I, I use, any medium I, I use, I give everything I, be I believe in it. It's the, the faith that counts, not really the media. And now I have different things. I have to, I have to match that, uh, that medium. <laughs> All right. Pleasure talking to you, sir. Thank you.